This is Bill at Highland Hill Farm, and today I'm going to show you how I siphon fuel from a five gallon jerry can into a tractor with very little spillage. I use a siphon method. Here's what I do I first open up the jerry can and open up the gas, and I want to check this for moisture. If I see a lot of moisture, I want to wipe it off. Sometimes there's little water droplets. I want to keep it clean. The next thing I do is I start with a clean flexible tube and I make sure it is clean. And I check both ends to make sure there's no dirt. Insert into the jerry can. Insert this into the tank you want to fill. And you can blow on this right here and get the siphon to work. Or you can do it like this. And that can work. But I prefer to blow because it gets it right away. And the advantage of doing it this way is when this tank is empty, I know it takes about five and a half gallons, so I can take a five gallon bucket and put it in and it won't overflow. But just in case I turn the ignition switch on to see the tank level as it's rising, and I can also easily monitor it. It's not like I have to stand 10 feet away and crank something and then come running over and seeing if it's you know, overfilled or almost filled up to the top. Many times when you're putting diesel in a tank and you're pumping it in, it gets bubbles. And the bubbles can wash out over the sides of the, the tractor, creating a spill. This is actually a pretty quick way of doing it. It just takes a couple minutes, maybe two, three minutes. And this can will be emptied soon. Okay, now all the fuel is out of the tank, or most of it, and it stopped running. And what I do is I leave it set for a couple seconds, get all the fuel out, and I do like to wipe this off because I don't like to leave fuel hanging around. So I wipe this end off, and I wipe this end off, and I keep these clean, and it's ready for next time. And we're ready to go with very little spillage much better way to do it than to have fuel everywhere. Thank you. This video was produced at Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell trees and shrubs for privacy. Hi, I'm Marge and you're at Highland Hill Farm. This morning I'm standing beside two of our most popular types of arborvitae. This one is the emerald green. This one is the green giant. Although they are both Arborvitaes, Thuja, T-H-U-J-A, they are markedly different in their long-term growth habits. The emerald green will be three to four feet wide. It will grow quickly to like 10 feet and then more slowly up to 12 to 15. The green giant will be six to eight feet wide. Will quickly go to 18 feet and more slowly to 20, 25. Market difference in how width they, how uh, wide they will grow. You can see the emerald green always stays tight. Green giant is a lot looser, but it will be a wide, looser piece, an excellent filter buffer screen. This one is more of a, a usage for a narrow area, some place that you have to keep it a narrower, shorter piece. Emerald green will be eaten by deer. Green Giant has a very good deer resistance, not deer proof, nothing is deer proof, but a good deer resistance. Emerald Green likes to sit in full sun, will tolerate a little bit of shade, but should have a good six hours of sunlight. <coughs> Green Giant will tolerate much more shade, an hour or two of sunlight and you're good to go. Both will like to sit in full sun, Emerald Green likes a little bit drier location. Green Giant will tolerate a little bit more wetness. 
Thank you. This is Highland Hill Farm, 5275 West Swamp Road, Fountainville, PA. This video is brought to you by Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees for privacy and sound barriers.